Good morning, Timberline. We are the Blazer Broadcasting Crew. I am Timothy Rupert. And I am Emmett Douglas. So last week was an exciting one with lots of school spirit shown, especially on Friday at our football game where the spectators dressed up in their Halloween costumes. Here are some of those costumes. All right. Hello, you two. What's your names? I'm Kate Ewers. And I'm Tilly Ewers. All right. What are your costumes supposed to be? I'm Nancy Downs from The Craft. And I'm Carrie from Carrie. <laughs> Wonderful. And what may, your, uh, what may inspire your costumes? Um, well, Tilly said that I should dress up as her, so I did. <laughs> and I already had the crown, so I just took the advantage and just went the easy route. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Y'all have a good night. You, you too. too. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, good sir. What's your name? My name is Christian Juarez. Good to meet you, Christian. What's your costume? I am an astronaut. Nice. What inspired you to be an astronaut? My little brother told me like a month ago to be an astronaut. That's wonderful. You have a good night, Christian. Hello, sir. What's your name? Jacob Lange. Hello, Jacob. What's your costume for today? I am a hot dog. That's pretty neat. Why did you decide to be a hot dog today, Jacob? Because I'm hungry. That's a good reason. You have a good night, sir. Me too. <laughs> Those costumes were all wonderful. But their spectators weren't the only ones who showed school pride. Many members of our football team are often the catalyst for school spirit. We managed to get an interview with two of them, and here's what they had to say about our team. Hello, my name is Lance Durbin, and I'm here for the Blazer Broadcasting Crew. I'm here to interview you two today. All right, so what are your names? Uh, my name is Jackson Brown. I'm Caleb McNeely. All right, nice to meet you two. What positions do you two play? Uh, I play quarterback. I play running back and middle linebacker. Wonderful. How do you feel this game has been going so far? Uh, I feel like it's been going pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going great. I think we're playing great, too. As a team, so far through the season, how do you feel y'all have improved together? You know, coming off of last year going one and four, I feel like this year we're much more bonded as a team and we play for each other and, you know, we've been having fun out here, so it's been a great season. I think we're just one big family this year. I think last year we weren't as close as we are now and we're all just bonded. All right, wonderful. You two have a great game. Go Blazers. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Our football team did manage to win their game this Tuesday, which makes them go to the playoffs. We also have two cross-country athletes advancing to the state level on Saturday. Our first athlete to advance to the state level is Riley Wilson, and our second is our very own Emmett Douglas. <laughs> the state competition is going to be held tomorrow. If you see our cross-country athletes, make sure to wish them luck. Just a quick jump to next week. November 11th, we'll, there will be no school due to the Veterans Day holiday. Also, another reminder, November 12th is the end of first quarter. Here's our weather forecast for the week. Good morning, Blazers. Welcome to The Weather. I'm Julian, your weatherman. On next week's forecast, we can expect some rain and showers every single day. Colder conditions will start on Monday with a high of 49 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. The coldest day next week will be Tuesday with a high of 48 and a low of 44. It will start to warm up on Wednesday to Friday with Friday having a high of 57 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Be safe out there, Timberline. And now back to your anchors. And our Friday fun fact is going to be that, did you know, all two-thirds of statistics are made up to prove a point. And that concludes our broadcast. Have, Have a, a good, good day, day Blazers! Blazers.